السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعد أما بعد فيا عباد الله أوصيكم أولا ونفسي بتقوى الله فقد فاز المتقون قال تعالى في كتابه أفحسبتم أنما خلقناكم عبثا وأنكم إلينا لا ترجعون وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لو أنكم تتوكلون على الله حتى توكله لرزقكم كما يرزق الطير تغدو خما صوة روح بطانة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام الحمد لله All praise and thanks due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Peace and salawat upon our beloved Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam Firstly I would like to advise myself and those who are present Ittaqillaha ta'ala Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala At all times, at all moments My dear brothers in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in a very perfect manner the most superior, the most honored creation in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why Allah says in the Quran وَلَكَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam." Verily, most surely, we have honored son of Adam. We have carried him above land and above ocean. My dear brothers in Islam, Allah says in the Quran, in another place, هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا There was a time in our lives or there was a time with regard to insaniya human race there was a period Allah is asking has not the time has passed upon you all لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا this human was something which cannot be mentioned or he was not existing there was nothing لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا and that Allah says إِنَّا خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ نُطُفَةِ النَّمْشَاجِ and we brought this human race into existence from a drop of sperm such a perfect creation was created but there was a period that cannot be mentioned or cannot be spoken about when he was a drop of sperm my dear brothers in Islam before we were not existing Allah Ta'ala made us exist Allah has made us perfect Allah has made us look perfect Quran when we look further Allah says وَلَكَدْ خَلَكْنَ النُّطُفَةَ عَلَقَ فَخَلَكْنَ الْعَلَكَةَ مُضْغَ فَخَلَكْنَ الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامَ فَكَسَوْنَ الْعِظَامَ لَحْمَا ثم انشاناه خلقا اخر فتبارك الله احسن الخالقين الله سي هاو وي كرييتد ذيس هيومن 
the superior supreme honored creation from a drop of sperm turned into a pea blood clot in the womb of the mother a angel was appointed to take care of that blood clot and then it turned into a piece of flesh then the bones then the skin and everything was created fa tabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqin all praise to allah the best of creators there are the allah says ثم انكم بعد ذلك لميتون الله says after we create this insan as a perfect creation the next stage the next level is death in the life of this human My dear brothers in Islam will it end with death will it conclude with death no it is the beginning the day the insan leave this world as a mayit that is the beginning of reality in his life that's why Allah says ثم انكم يوم القيامه تبعثون he was no way he was nothing and then he became a hero he thought the world is within him the world is within his control and then the death overpowers him he becomes zero and no way <coughs> and thereafter Allah says we shall resurrect him again we shall bring him back into reality again that is the day of qiyama that we shall be resurrected in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my dear brothers in islam that is the reality of our life that is the hakika and the truth the life that we live today it's not the reality today we live in this world the way our mind our heart our intelligence our intellectuality guiding us let us remember my dear brothers in islam we have not been created in vain we have not been sent to this world just to pass time and to move on but allah says we created you you were nothing then we made you a perfect human we gave you life we adorned you we gave you everything now that allah is asking af hasibtum man ma khalaqnakum abasa a uh, aya which is shocking to you and me <coughs> this aya carries two parts afa hasibtum man ma khalaqnakum abasa do you think <coughs> do you think that we have created you in vain in vain without a purpose in life without an objective in life and for Allah is asking wa annakum ilaina la turja'un this is what we discussed just now that you shall not return to us there are two parts the life that we live in this world and the life that we are going to live hereafter my dear brothers in islam this is what that we have forgotten or neglected that the journey of akhirah which is known as yawmul qiyama the day what does it mean by the word yawmul qiyama the day that all will be present my dear brothers in islam allah says in the quran yawma yakumun nas li rabbil alamin it is the day that end 
entire human race entire creation human jinnat angel all the creation will be made to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of our maker in front of our creator my dear brothers in islam that's why it is known as yawmul qiyama let us understand <coughs> for us we may define days as important days in our life the day we got married the day i started working or the day i graduated from school or the day i graduated from the university the day i started my business the day i was born the first day my first child was born and etc we consider these days to be great days in our life no my dear brothers in islam the greatest day in our life the greatest day in our life it is the day <coughs> that we are made to stand in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just imagine allah says in the quran allah la ilaha illa hu la yajma'annakum ila yawm al-qiyamah la rayb fi o people there is none worthy of worship but allah la yajma'annakum ila yawm al-qiyamah that entire human being from the first nabiyuna adam to the last child ever born on this planet will be made to stand in the presence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la rayb fi there is no doubt in that my dear brothers in islam that is the greatest day in our life that is the most powerful day my dear brothers in islam we need to ask today we need to prepare ourselves today for that day that we are made to stand in front of allah when we study the quran more than 70 places allah speaks about this day the word yawmul qiyama is repeated quran is warning you and me reminding you and me of this day that we we shall return to allah that we shall be made to stand in front of allah my dear brothers in islam do we know <coughs> the hadith of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam the qiyama will occur in the day of juma it comes in some narration the entire creation of allah waits on this day to see from which direction the sun is rising it is so serious and another name for the yawmul qiyama yawmul ashhad a day that we will be made to witness our actions will be presented our deeds will be presented in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respected brothers elders in islam when we look into the quran there are many names are given to this day as as-sa'a yasalunaka 'an as-sa'a they ask when is the hour the real hour the real time the real moment that you and me will be made to stand in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell these people min amri rabbi it is from the knowledge of Allah nobody has been given this knowledge those who predict in the past many false prophets or many individuals were predicting and they say the world will end 
will visit his own friends who are friends with him in this world and he will say Allah made a promise I made a promise but I have to break the promise under this situation وَمَا كَانَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ O oh people, I had no control over you. I did not control you. Illa and I gave you a beautiful invitation. You accepted my invitation. Do not blame me. Blame your own self. And I will not be able to help you. Neither you shall be able to help me on this day of agony and difficulty. My dear brothers in Islam, commentators of the Quran, they say, this will be the most painful moment to doers of sin and evil in the day of Qiyamah. Then they will start crying. karra. Can I have another opportunity in this world? I'll break off from all these type of evil relationship, friendship and I'll be in the obedience of my Allah my dear brothers in Islam لا يستقدمون ولا يستاخرون we look into the Quran no time will be adjusted to this human the time that we have let us prepare for that star, for that moment that we shall be made to stand in front of Allah my dear brothers in Islam many lived in this world many are living many all of us will leave from this world one day what are we going to take in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us ask my dear brothers in Islam today matters which are life we have made it so serious example marriage a matter which is very light in the light of Islam very simple in the light of Islam but we have made it very very difficult and burden upon ourselves with regard to our livelihood with regard to everything in this world minor things we made it major in our lives my dear respected brothers and elders in Islam the major thing is the day of Qiyamah that we shall be made to stand in front of Allah every person will be drowning in his own sweat the sun will be brought closer one mile away or few distance away it will be brought and people will be drowning and crying and in agony and difficulty my dear brothers in Islam all the ummah that Allah says in the Quran يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ نَخِي وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِي وَصَاحِبَتِي وَبَنِي لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مِنْهُمْ يَوْمَ يَرِنْ شَعْنُ يُغْنِي In that day, it carries so much of agony. A person will run away from his blood brother, from his friend. Husband will run away from the wife. Wife will run away from the husband. The mother will run away from the child. The child will run away from the mother. A beautiful narration, my dear brothers in Islam. A shocking message to you and me. In the day, in that day, the mother will come to the son. The mother will come to the son. And he will tell the, she will tell the son, Oh my son, Oh my beloved son, Give me one hasana, One good deed. That's all I ask you. And she will remind the good that she has done throughout her life. I carried you. I gave birth to you. I did this to you. I did that to you. Son will say, Oh my mother, I know you did all these things to me. (laughs) But today, if you can, you give me one good deed. Subhanallah. My dear brothers in Islam, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith In that day People will be hufatan, uratan, ghuruba People will be Barefooted, naked Uncircumcised How they were created awwal marra The very first time That's how they will stand in front of Allah Aisha radiallahu anha asked Ya Rasulallah <coughs> People will start looking at each, each other, Ya Rasulullah. <coughs> Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, 
Allah says in the Quran, O oh people, fear that hour, that moment, that moment that we shall be made to stand in front of Allah. إِنَّ زَلْزَلَةَ السَّاعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ The quake of that day, the zalzala of that day, something very very great. There will be a quake and an earthquake on that day. According to the commentators of the Quran, it will begin by the heart. People will be confused to see what is happening around them. يَوْمَ تَرَوْنَهَا تَذْهَلُ كُلُّ مُرْدِعَةٍ عَمَّا عَرْضَعَتْ وَتَبَعُ كُلُّ ذَاتِ حَمْلٍ حَمْلَهَا وَتَرَى النَّاسَ سُقَارًا وَمَا هُمْ بِسُقَارًا وَلَكِنَّ عَذَابَ اللَّهِ شَدِيدٍ My dear brothers in Islam, Allah says, Ya Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, On that day, you will see your ummah, you will see people will be confused to that degree every suckling mother every mother who suckles her own child will throw her child وَتَبَعُ كُلُّ ذَاتِ حَمْلٍ حَمْلَهَا every pregnant mother will lose her pregnancy وَتَرَنَّا سَسُكَارَا you will see people intoxicated وَمَا هُمْ بِسُكَارَى They are not intoxicated وَلَكِنَّ عَذَابَ اللَّهِ شَدِيدٍ But the torment and the punishment of that day is so great they look as that they are confused My dear brothers in Islam the day Allah pointed the angel to blow the trumpet it comes in the hadith that angel of Allah looking towards the heaven and waiting for instruction he has lifted the trumpet made it close to his mouth his eyes are looking towards the heaven waiting for the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is so close وَمَا أَمْرُ السَّاعَةِ إِلَّا كَلَمْحِ الْبَصَرِ the hour the kiyama is so close it is closer than the winking of an eye Subhanallah Do we need any further commentary on this? My dear brothers in Islam We live a life thinking That we are going to live too long And Qiyamah will not occur So quick But Quran is saying It is closer than winking of an eye My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam a such a painful day we have taken it very light in our lives the younger generation thinks I need to become old and then the Qiyamah will come and a person in the middle age thinks I need to become old and the Qiyamah will come no my dear brothers in Islam it will occur Baghdatan my dear brothers in Islam I was requested by the masjid to speak in detail about the Yawmul Qiyamah. Today we are having an introduction amongst ourselves. This will go inshallah in detail, continuously. Whatever we have spoken, it is very little 
of the introduction let us understand that rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam detailed everything he did not leave us in darkness he did not leave us without any knowledge rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave all details all information all guidance how it will happen when it will happen what manner it will happen before it happens what are the signs what are the minor signs what are the major signs when you see it is happening it is a sign of qiyama my dear brothers in islam inshallah the coming we shall discuss the signs of qiyama in detail in depth in order that we have no excuse in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quran and the sunnah had spoken in detail when we take any book of hadith all the books of ahadith are filled with the narration of the hour and the qiyama my dear brothers in islam for our information whatever the signs Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke as minor signs all of them have appeared all of them have appeared not one left from the minor signs all of them have come out one of the very first time Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam say ana wa saa'a kahatain me and our are very close my coming as the last rasul to this ummah itself is a indication that qiyama had near qiyama is near my dear brothers in islam let us ponder matters trivial matters we break our brains we break our head but qiyama is something very serious a day that no one with us but ourselves and we need the rahmah and the refuge and the help of allah let us do good amal salihah it is nearing even the situation that we see around our country today so much of hate campaign against allah and rasul against muslims against the quran against the teachings of islam these are all mine signs of qiyama when we see we should say sadaqa rasulullah rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has spoken the truth and rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam says it will become worse it will become worse and then a time will come allah will raise islam when the time of the arrival of isa and mahdi alaihi musallatu wassalam my dear brothers in islam these are the times that we as a ummah crossing we as a small nation crossing in this whole land let us look at them and get close to allah get build our nearness with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are indications that world is aging world is coming to an end the time is coming to an end the hour is coming to an end the months are coming to an end the years are coming to an end with the destruction of this world my dear brothers in islam we shall talk in detail inshallah subhanallah that even the scientists are studying they took the base from islam they know what may happen what will come what will fall upon this mankind what are the disasters destructions happening whatever the earthquake simple we hear every time there is a quake there is that disaster this disaster these are all alamatun min alamati alamatun min alamati sa all signs and indication that time is nearing world is aging the dunya is coming to an end and the real world is advancing the akhira is advancing towards each one of us my dear brothers in islam let us look at these things take heed today a person has some sickness and a cough a fever and whatever some signs appear we are worried we are shocked we are running towards the doctor and we see now a business some problems 
that we are foreseeing this may happen due to this condition we are running we are taking advice we are taking guidance my dear brothers in Islam all these signs are saying that world is coming to an end but we still forgetful we are missing our faraid may Allah save you and me we are missing the teachings of Allah we are still neglecting the order of Allah we are still bold enough to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us realize make us understand and give us the realization to prepare ourselves for this great day and to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while sitting in those beautiful chairs and pulpits made out of pearls, emeralds and gold and they are the most fortunate people spend their lives in the obedience of Allah <coughs> they did whatever they could to contribute and to support the beautiful deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we know today there is one institution is here institution of this mahalla of this masjid surrounding this masjid as long as there is ta'aleem and ta'allum where there, when there is teaching of Quran and Sunnah the punishment of Allah will not come down that's why all the creation on this planet making dua to Mu'allimin Nas al Khair for that person who is teaching good for those people who are learning and teaching the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Hatta al-Aitanu fil ma even the fish in the ocean making dua for a student of ilm and for a teacher why my dear brothers in Islam when it is not happening the punishment of Allah will come down when it comes and all around will be destroyed that is the reason my dear brothers in Islam every locality every masjid should have this practice Alhamdulillah in Kirlapana area there is a religious institution they are teaching the Quran and the Sunnah and many ulama and huffaz were produced <coughs> outstanding ulama and huffaz were produced my dear brothers in Islam whatever we could support whatever we could contribute let us do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order that will remain for us tomorrow in the day of Qiyamah when we are made to stand in front of Allah whatever we have spoken may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and ikhlas to practice upon it <coughs>